everyone, welcome back to Makeup and Fashion Diaries. So today's video is gonna be a review on this very new brand which is called Seri. I don't know if you guys know this brand but uh, uh, I was just scrolling through Nike a few days back and I saw this brand. I thought I'll just give this uh, brand a try. So I got the products 2-3 days back and uh, here they are so i'm gonna be trying these products with you guys letting you know how they really perform but before anything else what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fill in my brows and put some primer because i don't have these two products because i have full face of makeup but i don't have a brow product and i don't have a primer uh, so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my brows and my primer and come right back my brows are done and i've primed my skin my brows might look a little funny right now because i don't have any face product uh, so now i'm gonna use this product called pout and shine lip tint this retails for 375 rupees and uh, this is basically a tinted lip balm so this is how it looks it's really really bright what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just put that on my lips so that my lips are nice and hydrated and it feels really really creamy and soft also giving a lot of color to my lips smells good as well so yeah i love the packaging it's so cute you can actually see the tint color right here so it's really really nice and very moisturizing for sure so now i'm gonna jump into the foundation and start doing my face so the only problem is the foundation is not in my shade it's way lighter and uh, this is the darkest shade they have so i really think they should come come up with some new shades at least 10 shades uh, for the darker skin tone because if anybody is a little darker to me they cannot use this foundation because even this is really light for me okay so now this is called fix and click foundation stick this is in the shade f3 sand basically they only have three shades and this retails for 649 rupees okay i'm not able to find the outer packaging for this foundation stick but this is how it looks it's a very pretty matte packaging i think these kind of packagings are really in right now and you will see how light this color is for me so actually you get this much of product and i think that's a little less and this is really less if you compare to other brands because you get a whole bottle if you pay 500 there are so many brands good brands they give you so much of product and uh, yeah it's, it's it's really really less but uh, never mind i'm just gonna try this so i don't have a concealer so i'll be using this foundation as my concealer and as my foundation now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply this foundation on this side and use my sponge and on this side uh, i will be going in with a brush so let's see how that looks so i'm gonna do quite a few swipes So as you can see, this is totally not my color. I'll have to bronze up my skin really nicely. So on this side, I'm going to be using a damp beauty sponge to see how that blends. Uh, this foundation, actually I'm not able to read anything about it because I don't have the box. But I'll just figure it out and let you guys know. As you can see, it's really hard to blend. It's not blending properly. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very sure coverage. It doesn't have any coverage whatsoever. It feels like tinted moisturizer so I'm going to just give it another round and try to cover a few other spots I have and also I'll do my under eye. So with this foundation you have to literally go a little heavy handed if you want more coverage because it's a very sheer coverage foundation. Also I'm using this as my concealer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my neck and I'm going to do other side of my face as well. So I'm going to give, I'm going to apply a really generous amount. So, so now let's see how it blends with a brush. You can still see my spots. So definitely not a full coverage foundation. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, this oval brush. And I'm going to use this to just blend in this foundation. And right off the bat, I can see that this has more coverage than this because I'm using this brush. The brush is not actually taking any product off. I think the sponge definitely took uh, some coverage off. It's better to use a brush. So let me see how it looks up close because I can see it emphasizing my texture. 
and uh, definitely not a full coverage foundation in in the camera you might feel that it is but actually in person it's not my uh, scars are really visible and i can see it's emphasizing my texture i have this problem area right here and this area particularly is really looking bumpy so i'm not a huge fan of the foundation right now but i'll just keep using it in different ways to see if i can uh, if I like it. So now next thing is setting my face in place and for that I have this Seri Fix and Click HD Compact and Finishing Powder. So this is how it looks. It's so cute. The packaging is very very cute. So they have this powder right here like so and then they have the setting powder like so. So it's so cute. So I'll just dust it here and just pat it on my face so that it looks nice and set i'm not really sure about this applicator because i've never used such applicator but something is really coming out of this um sponge that's for sure and i can see that it's a little darker shade if you can tell also i'm going to use this powder normally as i would like if i want to bake or something so i'm just gonna give it a nice light coat of this powder this powder is definitely really dark for me also i'm gonna do my north sides of my face a little bit on my forehead so i'm not gonna keep this bake for long i'm just gonna dust it really lightly so now my foundation also looks much better because i'm gonna take this compact and just put it on my eyelids just to make them ready for some eyeshadow i have two of their stick eyeshadows okay so i have two eyeshadow sticks this is called focus eyeshadow sticks in the shade e5 glazed and then other one is in the shade e1 night so one is a black and one is a gold so let's see how they swatch on my hand so this one is the black one really creamy and then we have the gold one Mm, this also looks nice okay so what i'm thinking to do is i'm gonna do my eyes using the golden stick and then on my lower lash line i'm gonna smoke it really nicely so let's see how this performs i'm just gonna grab my mirror and start coating my eyelids with this golden color it's not that creamy that's the first thing i can see i'm just gonna keep this uh, and put this all over my eyelids and this is how it looks it's not that pigmented and not that creamy um but the black one seemed nice okay so this is how the stick looks it's really it's a very pretty color though and but i wish it had more pigment it's not that pigmented but so far so good it's looking good so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take this black shadow stick and apply this underneath my eyes and just I'll just see how this performs. This one is way creamier than the golden one. Okay, so this is how it's looking. This eyeshadow stick is way better than the golden one. I don't know why is that. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's performing really well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take their kajal. This is called Flash Eye Intense Kajal. And I'm going to just do my waterline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use this shader brush and just apply my liner using that same black eyeshadow stick. I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my skin really nicely and uh, come right back. Now I'm totally bronzed and contoured. So now I'm going to take these uh, flashlight blusher sticks and these are for 649 rupees and this one is coral cat when i opened this color it's such a pretty color but i think it's too loud for me but i think i'll just give it a try so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna warm this product on the back of my hand like so and just pick my sponge and pick the product and just apply this wherever i want to and let's see how that looks so these are cream products so you have to be really light-handed because otherwise you'll just end up messing your uh, look 
Uh, okay, so we are done with the blusher and now we're gonna move on to the highlighter. So I have this highlighter called H1 Gleam Girl and this is their flashlight highlighter stick and this is how it looks. Uh, all the packaging are pretty much the similar packaging and uh, for this also I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to rub this on my hand and probably I'll take this with my fingers. So let's see how that looks and apply that on top of my cheeks. Yeah, so definitely it's there. You can see it's reflecting. It's really loud actually if you see it on my hand. But I'm applying really, really less. What I feel with this cream products is that you have to kind of use your hands to warm up the product so that it blends really nicely. Because otherwise it tends to get very blotchy. So that's what I feel. You have to warm up the product with your hands. Okay, so the last two products are mascara and the lipstick. Firstly, I'm going to do my eyes and I'm going to put this mascara. This mascara is called Express Lash Voluminizing Mascara and this retails for 450 rupees. I love how tiny the packaging is. It's really travel friendly, so very, very tiny. What I'm thinking is going in with this kajal pencil and darkening my eyeliner. This kajal is so creamy. Oh my god, I cannot. Like it's jet black and very creamy. Okay, so I went ahead and darkened my eyeliner and this is how I usually prefer. So now I'm going to give my eyelashes two, three coats of this mascara. And the mascara wand is so big even though the uh, mascara is really tiny but the wand is like a normal size wand. Uh, this mascara is really good. I don't know if you can tell how lifted my eyelashes are right now but it's really good so i'm gonna give this a second coat and so once i'm done with my uh, first coat i'm gonna apply my lipstick and then go ahead and do my second coat okay so we are almost done and now i'm gonna do my lips and i will be using this coral club shade and this is how the lipstick looks so i don't know if you can tell but this lipstick is not that pigmented i can literally see my skin from uh, the lipstick like my lips are a little visible and uh, yeah I think we are almost done with the looks so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this compact and just set everything in place so that everything looks nice and put together okay you guys so this is the final result I think I really enjoyed few products but then few products were totally no no for me so let's start with the foundation I really think that this was kind of clinging to my dry patches the color is not right. There are not enough shades uh, to choose from. Uh, next product was this compact and loose powder. I like it, but I don't like it. Like I like the compact, but the loose powder was not that great. It was clinging to the moist or wet part of my face. Uh, it was not good. Um, that's that. Moving on to the eyeshadow sticks. I really, really enjoyed using this. Uh, though I would say the golden one is not that pigmented but the black one is superb. I will be doing a smoky eye look using just this pencil. So the eyeshadow sticks are really really nice. And the other thing I really enjoyed was this lip balm. Their Pout and Shine lip tint I really really enjoyed. It's really creamy and it gives you kind of a tint. Uh, that's that and the mascara and the kajal are so good. Oh my god so pigmented as you can see the liner. Uh, I applied this kajal as my liner and it's looking so black and so good. So I really really enjoyed that and then the mascara is also really good. Um, moving on to the lipstick, again I'm not a huge fan. Literally see my lips peeking through uh, the color. It's not that pigmented and also I think I call for this color and it's not that great. Uh, coral is not my color and about this look it looks pretty decent to me but not my favorite for sure so yeah that's about it guys so this was my first impression on seri cosmetics i hope you guys enjoyed this video i put all the details of the products in the description box below also i'm thinking to do my updated nighttime skincare routine and my daytime skincare routine so let me know if you guys want to see that uh, i will be creating a smoky eye look using this seri pencil so please go and follow me on instagram if you guys want to see that look and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one bye bye